ऑनरेबल प्रेसिडेंट ऑफ इंडिया श्री प्रणब मुखर्जी चेयरपर्सन सेंट्रल बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्ट टैक्सेस श्रीमती अनिता कपूर मेंबर सेंट्रल बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्ट टैक्सेस श्री जैन सीनियर ऑफिसर्स ऑफ द डिपार्टमेंट ऑफिसर ट्रेनिंग ऑफ द सिक्सटी एट्थ बैच लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन सर आई हैव द ऑनर एंड द प्रिवलेज टू प्रजेंट द लेटेस्ट एंट्रेंस टू द आई आर एस फ्रैटर्निटी द ऑफिसर ट्रेनिंग ऑफ द सिक्सटी एट्थ बैच हु आर करेंटली अंडर गोइंग देयर इंडक्शन ट्रेनिंग एट द नेशनल अकेडमी ऑफ डायरेक्ट टैक्सेस नागपुर सर दिस बैच जॉइंड इन दिसंबर टू and they are undergoing 16 months of induction training which will give them a practical and theoretical aspect of income tax act they will also be given field experience by postings to the various field stations they will also have attachments international attachment as well as various attachments in the country to sebi rbi army and parliament attachment sir india is a land of diversity diversity and diversity in culture they have a myriad uh ethnicity or customs cultures regional flavors of cuisine and dress sense it is said that in india every 100 miles the dialect changes the dress changes the custom and the culture changes the current batch also sir is a diversity in unity senior officers of the income tax department fellow officer trainees ladies and gentlemen a very good evening sardar vallabhbhai patel once said you will not have a united india if you do not have civil services which has the independence to speak out its mind which has a sense of security the constitution is meant to be worked by a ring of service which will keep the country intact his words resonate in our ears and embody our conviction with which we have chosen this career path for ourselves We are proud to be a part of the newest chapters in the glorious pages of the Indian Revenue Service which is one of the largest group of services and has contributed immensely in the nation building process. Some clouds come floating into our lives not to carry rain or rush a storm but to add color to our skies. The past two months of our induction program at the National Academy of Direct Taxes have added many vibrant hues to our lives and we have fondly embraced its splendid elements. our home away from home we are in a melting pot of diversities which epitomizes india where people across generations from every part of our country and beyond have come to meet interact unlearn and learn from each other resulting in a continuous process of innovations and improvements no wonder everything comes to us that belongs to us if we create the capacity to receive it It has been a rewarding experience with an eclectic mix of academic input, path-breaking initiatives in pedagogy, interaction with senior income tax officers who serve as our role models, and a myriad extracurricular activities which has helped us redefine ourselves and challenge our own superlatives. Our lives are now dancing on the edges of time, just like the dews on the top of a leaf. I, Nena Karol, on behalf of the 68th batch of Indian Revenue Service, reinstate our vows to live up to the spirit of the motto committed to excel and we promise to uphold the values of character competence and commitment thank you i now request my colleague mr chandra mohan to share his experience adarniya bharat ke rashtrapati mahoday shri pranam mukherji aikar vibhag ke varishth padadhikari gan sathi prashikshu adhikari bhaiyon aur behno rashtriya pratyakshkar akademi nagpur mein prashikshanrat bharti rajasva seva ke अड़सठवें बैच के अधिकारी तथा समस्त अकादमी परिवार की तरफ से मैं चंद्रमोहन आपका हार्दिक अभिवादन करता हूं, श्रीमान संसद में चल रहे हमारे प्रशिक्षण कार्यक्रम के तहत हम भारतीय राज्य व्यवस्था के विभिन्न पहलुओं को अत्यंत नज़दीक से देखने का अवसर प्राप्त कर रहे हैं तथा आज आपसे भेंट का यह सुअवसर हमारे लिए एक स्वप्नपूर्ण होने जैसा है श्रीमान वर्तमान बैच भारतीय राजस्व सेवा के इतिहास में अब तक का विशालतम बैच है जो सही अर्थों में भारत की क्षेत्रीय व सांस्कृतिक विविधता का प्रतिबिंबन करता है जैसा कि विदित है कि भारतीय राजस्व सेवा का सदस्य बनने पर हमारा उत्तरदायित्व है देश के वित्तीय हितों की रक्षा करना जो देश के आर्थिक एवं सामाजिक विकास के लिए अपरिहार्य है यह उत्तरदायित्व हमें संवैधानिक व्यवस्था व उसके आदर्शों का भावतय तथा अक्षरंशतः पालन करते हुए निभाना है वर्तमान दौर में जब 
वैश्विक अवसरों के परिप्रेक्ष्य में भारतीय अर्थव्यवस्था तीव्र गति से विकास पथ पर अग्रसर है वहीं दूसरी ओर वित्तीय अपराध भी वैश्विक रूप ले चुके हैं अतः वर्तमान में हमारी भूमिका उत्तरदायित्व एवं चुनौतियाँ और भी विशाल हो चुकी हैं श्रीमान हम भारतीय सिविल सेवा में आने का स्वप्न लेकर चले थे और आज इस मुकाम पर पहुंचने पर राष्ट्र को हमसे बहुत उम्मीदें हैं जिनको हमने अब महसूस करना शुरू कर दिया है हम आपको पूर्ण यकीन दिलाते हैं कि हमारे कंधों पर राष्ट्रहितों की रक्षा का जो उत्तरदायित्व दिया गया है हम उसे तन मन से पूर्ण रूपेण शत प्रतिशत तथा भारतीय संविधान के प्रति अटूट श्रद्धा एवं समर्पण की भावना रखते हुए पूरा करेंगे धन्यवाद जय हिंद गुड इवनिंग श्रीमती अनिता कापू चेयरपर्सन सेंट्रल बोर्ड ऑफ डायरेक्ट टैक्सेस श्री अरुण कुमार जैन मेंबर सीबीडीटी श्रीमती गुंजन मिश्रा डायरेक्टर जनरल ट्रेनिंग नेशनल एकेडमी ऑफ डायरेक्ट टैक्सेस श्री मंदेश कुमार मिश्रा एडिशनल डायरेक्टर जनरल नेशनल एकेडमी ऑफ डायरेक्ट टैक्सेस फैकल्टी मेंबर्स ऑफिसर ट्रेनिस ऑफ द सिक्सटी एट्थ बैच ऑफ इंडियन रेवेन्यू सर्विस लेडीज एंड जेंटलमैन गुड इवनिंग टू ऑल ऑफ यू एंड एट द वेरी आउटसेट आई वेलकम यू टू दिस हिस्टोरिक बिल्डिंग एंड दिस हिस्टोरिक हॉल व्हिच इज नोन एज दरबार हॉल हुज मैग्निफिशेंट ग्रेनाइट कॉलम्स हाई डोम and the walls have witnessed momentous changes in the life of contemporary india after 190 years colonial rule when the moment came for transfer of power from the colonial masters to the national leaders of this great country it was this hall where the actual transfer of power took place the moment at the midnight of 14th 15th august the then governor general of india lord mountbatten administered oath of office to newly appointed prime minister of india pandit jawahar lal nehru not only the transfer of power from the british hands to the indian hands but also the transformation of india from enjoying a dominion status to the status of a republic took place in this historic hall when first governor general indian governor general chakraborty rajagopal achari handed over the power to newly elected president dr rajendra prasad as the first president of the republic and today most of you who are born not most all of you who are born march after the independence are listening to the 13th occupant of this magnificent building as the 13th president of the republic of india when i mention 13th resident i started from the day of 26 january 1950 because earlier when the building was constructed at the beginning of 
there had been occupants. First occupant was Lord Arwin, followed by Lord Willingdon, thereafter Lord Lindlithgow, followed by Lord Wavell, and finally Lord Mountbatten. So all these historic transformations of contemporary India took place in Rashtrapati Bhavan and some of the momentous events took place in this hall itself. I also will come you to the surface, which is very old one and one of the oldest surface of India. Income Tax Act was passed in 1861. Within three years of the transfer of power from Mercantile Company, East India Company, to the British sovereign, after the first revolution of the Indian armed forces against the colonial rule in 1858. And in 1860, the total tax collections income tax collection was around 30 lakhs. And the transformation which has taken place in the volume of the transaction in terms of money, even after independence in 1947, when the first budget of independent India was presented by the then finance minister Shanmukham Chetty, it was in the month of November 1947, because as per our financial system, budget for the year 47-48 was presented by Mr. Lyakot Ali Khan, who was the then finance member or finance minister, later on became the Prime Minister of Pakistan. He presented for the full budget. After presentation of the full budget, in the middle of August, actual transfer of power took place. So the resources were distributed pro rata per capita between India and Pakistan. But people wanted, especially the members of the Constituent Assembly, which acted as the legislature of the independent country, they desired to have their own budget for the remnant period. And first budget was presented by Shanmukham Chetty, the first finance minister of India, in middle of November. And you will simply laugh if you hear the figure of the total budgetary transactions. Revenue budget was around 197 crores only, 121 crores, 71 crores being the revenue receipts, 26 crores were the revenue deficit, and revenue expenditure was 197 crores. And very simple classification between civil expenditure and military expenditure. Income tax was around 118 crores in 1947-48. And the budget which has been presented the other day by the current finance minister, he has presented a budget of direct taxes of 7.98 lakh crores of rupees for the year 2015-16. And the total financial budgetary transactions amounts to more than 17 lakh crores of rupees, taking the revenue expenditure, capital expenditure and deficit. When I look at your faces, 182 officers trainees, two of them are coming from our friendly government, Royal Government of Bhutan, I welcome them, wish them all success and their own contribution in the newly developed parliamentary democratic system in that Himalayan kingdom. I do not look you at the individuals. But I look at you, the future of India, full of idealism and enthusiasm, 
embodiment of commitment to the service of this great country and its people. I, should, I wish you all success in your endeavors and welcome you once again to the most important and prestigious civil service, one of the most important and prestigious civil service, Indian Revenue Service, direct taxes. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Jai Hind! Honorable President of India, Shri Pranam Mukherjee Ji, Senior Officers of the Income Tax Department, Course Team, Officers of the 68th Batch of Indian Revenue Service, ladies and gentlemen. Today I have been provided privileged opportunity to propose a formal word of thanks to the Honorable President. Respected Sir, your kind and guiding words are always being a source of inspiration for all of us working in the Income Tax Department. Your today's address is going to be permanently etched in our memory and in the memory of those, these newly recruited IRS officers which will work as a guiding light to be a ethical and creative tax administrator. Sir, the works related to the modernization of NADT for which the foundation stone was laid by your honor will be completed by this year end and with these facilities NADT will become one of the most modern central training academy of the India. I on my behalf, on behalf of the Central Board of Direct Taxes and the National Academy of Direct Taxes express our deep gratitude to the Honorable President for providing us this August opportunity. Thank you. Jai Hind.